建交二十年，访华十二次。他用“非凡”一词形容中国的发展，用“真正的朋友”形容两国友谊。为小岛屿发展中国家发声，他呼吁各国采取切实行动应对气候变化，赞赏中国各项倡议为世界提供发展机遇。多米尼克总理罗斯福·斯凯里特接受高端访谈独家专访，敬请收看。关注国际焦点，洞察世界风云。大家好，欢迎收看本期高端访谈，我是王冠。三月二十三日至二十九日，多米尼克总理罗斯福·斯凯里特正式访华，接受高端访谈栏目独家专访。斯凯里特总理曾说：“中国是真正的朋友，不仅在顺境中值得信赖，在逆境中更是不离不弃。”担任总理期间十二次访华，斯凯里特对中国发展之路有何见解与感触？而作为小岛屿发展中国家领导人，他对全球气候治理有何呼吁？对多边主义体系有何期待？让我们一起在对话中寻找答案。Prime Minister Skirit,、um, welcome to China, or shall I say, welcome back to China? Hi, hi. What do you think are the most important outcomes of this visit of you? Well, thank you very much for hosting me on your program. Of course, it's always a pleasure to be in China.、Uh, China is really a true friend、uh, to Dominica, and, and we have very good relations. I think the the highlight of my engagement here is my meeting with President Xi,、uh, where we engaged on many important issues,、uh, both on a bilateral basis, but also importantly on on multilateral issues.、Uh, because, like President Xi, we in Dominica we promote multilateralism、uh, in addressing world issues and, and advancing world issues,、uh, um, and so engaging President Xi and of course the outcomes of of, of those engagements. Uh, were very successful. What are those multilateral issues that you think you have built consensus on with the Chinese president? Well, you have the issue of climate change、um, and the need for us to take、uh, stronger action where climate change is concerned. And so we are able to get the kind of support that we need、um, from China in assisting us in building resilience against、um, climatic events and putting our country in a better、uh, circumstance. Uh, to, to withstand natural disasters, and I think some of the initiatives that President Xi has、uh, articulated,、uh, you know, are important initiatives which will advance global peace, advance glo global prosperity, and ensure that every country has the opportunity to prosper.、Uh, because if one country is has all the resources and and the rest of us do not have, then what what about world do we have? And I think that the Chinese model of of international cooperation is something that needs to be emulated、uh, by the rest of the, of the developed countries in the world. We are referring to President Xi's Global Development Initiative and Global Security Initiative, and most recently, Global Civilizations Initiative. All of these initiatives, including the Belt and Road,、uh, those、um, initiatives, I believe, are something which, in my mind, the United Nations should adopt if we are to help nations like Dominica. Help nations in the developing nations achieve、uh, the sustainable development goals. President Xi,、uh, during the meeting with you, during the summit with you, said、um, he believes China-Dominica relations are a model of South-South cooperation. Would you agree with him?、Uh, certainly,、uh, we have、um, been,、uh, we have had diplomatic relations for the last twenty years. But the reality is, it it、um, it, it it seems more like a hundred years. Um, because of the strength of the relationship, the mutual respect that we have for each other, China is a huge country compared to Dominica. But in my engagement with President Xi, he never caused me to feel that we were a small country.、Um, he engaged me as an equal, and, and I think that is the kind of, of attitude that world leaders ought to have:、um, that we can treat each other with respect, notwithstanding our size, notwithstanding the extent of our resources. Or、um, the level of economic prosperity in our countries, and so our, our relationship is 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 a sincere one.、Uh, we stand very strongly on the One China principle.、Um, we, this is international law, and and if we to respect international law,、um, we have to respect the One China principle.、Uh, this is not a, an ideological view.、Uh, this is a, a, a legal view. That has been upheld by the United Nations and all international organizations. So it's not just China who is saying this; it is the world who is saying this, because it is part of international law, and、uh, and so we will support and play our part in the peaceful 
reunification of, of the whole of China. China sees us as a friend. We see China as a friend. And as the saying goes, a friend in, 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 in need is a friend indeed. And, and China has been indeed a friend. Yeah, you said China is a friend uh, not only in good times, but also in tough times. China is a friend um, all, all times, but certainly in difficult times. And we, can, we have always been able to rely on, on China's support without, if, without we even asking for the help. The China has come forward uh, to offer the help to us. And we're very grateful uh, to the President Xi and the whole of the Chinese people. <laughs> 患难见真情是中多友谊的真实写照。2017年9月19日凌晨,超强飓风玛利亚席卷多米尼克。斯凯里特在社交媒体上表示,我家屋顶被吹跑,我现在听凭飓风摆布,我的房子也已经被淹。
uh, for consumption by our citizens. And I think this, if other nations follow this, as has been articulated by President Xi and been advanced by the government of China, I believe that we can see a reduction on the, on the emission of, of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There are a number of concrete projects between our two countries, uh, which are really manifestations of a China-Dominican um, solidarity, if you will, um, airports, roads, schools, and medical institutions. First of all, the road project. Um, it, it, it road project after uh, Erica, I think it was West Coast Road in America. It's, it's completed. They, they completed this road. Um, we also have received the, the Dominica China, China Friendship Hospital, uh, which is a, a real symbol of the cooperation which exists between our countries. Uh, we're now uh, constructing some six uh, schools uh, across the country. Um, some of the schools were affected by the hurricane, and we now rebuild them with, the, with China aid. Um, agriculture, we're making major stri strides in agriculture in terms of uh, the use of technology in agriculture. Uh, we just completed uh, um, a very important um, lab that, that will help in, in, in producing uh, seedlings that could withstand um, you know, pests and diseases and, and, and make them more resilient and therefore increasing the yield and production of our, of our farmers. Talking about agriculture cooperation, uh, you visited China uh, Dominica Modern Agriculture Center where you specifically checked out this hydroponic systems, which is a high-tech material for agriculture. How did you like that? Well, we, certainly it's something that the government of Dominica has embraced because of the uh, climate change, you have um, more pests and diseases affecting agriculture. You, it it's, it's, uh, eliminates the issue of, um, of uh, droughts or, or excessive rains. And I, I think it's the safest way to go about um, growing agriculture. You use less water uh, because the water filtrates and, and gets back into, into use. Dominica is not only a country that is supplying itself with some agricultural produce, but many of the islands within the Caribbean um, depend on Dominica uh, in terms of pro providing them with agricultural produce. So, so we have a, a huge contribution to make uh, to regional food security, and, and we take it very seriously. And so we're advancing with the help of China uh, to introduce more technology um, in the production of food in Dominica. Talking about our public health cooperation, uh, the first uh, cardiology department was set up in none other than China uh, Dominica Friendship Hospital, I believe. Um, what have been the impacts on locals? Uh, huge impact. Um, huge impact. Uh, there are many uh, cases which would have referred to other countries uh, for interventions. Uh, with the advent of the Dominica China Friendship Hospital, we have seen a reduction <coughs> in that um, because of the services that we're providing, whether it's in eye care, whether it's in uh, the treatment of, um, of um, kidney patients, whether it is uh, surgeries, you know, we have about four uh, theaters performing surgeries, I mean, more than any of the OECS countries, organizations from Eastern Caribbean countries. I think Dominica has the most modern hospital you can find uh, in the Caribbean now. Mr. Prime Minister, you've been to China 12 times, as you just told me. Um, what are your impressions of a changing China? Things that have not just, you know, impressed you here in the head, but touched you? I think the the development in China has been magical, uh, if I were to use this word. Um, it is just extraordinary. The, the fulfillment of a vision, the fulfillment of a strategy, the fulfillment of a plan, and the, the discipline of the Chinese people, the commitment to hard work, uh, the diligence of the Chinese people is really exceptional. And, and I think uh, the ability of President Xi and the government of China to to get the Chinese people to understand and appreciate and accept the vision that he has articulated with um, the modernization of, of China, with Chinese characteristics, is, is something that is really manifesting itself uh, to not only the benefit of China, but the benefit of all countries around the world, inclu including Dominica. Mm -hmm. Throughout this span of 20 years, as Prime Minister you've been coming to China, uh, what are the biggest changes that you have observed? I think, you know, in technology, I mean, you, you, truth be told, I believe China is, is leading in technology, um, infrastructure, and, and not only just uh, um, concrete, but the aesthetics of the cities, uh, the cleanliness of the cities, uh, the quality of your education, the quality of your training, 
uh, the discipline of the people. And I think that um, the shared prosperity uh, that has been articulated by President Xi is manifesting itself um, every single day in China. Your relations with President Xi on a professional level go way back, right? As early as uh, the 2010s, uh, in 2013, we heard that during a very personal trip of yours, you cut short that trip to meet President Xi in the neighboring country of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, how did that happen? I felt it important and necessary that I, I cut my trip short to, to engage and to meet President Xi. And, and I think that was a very important um, engagement. It, it really uh, helped um, President Xi to better appreciate the Caribbean region, to better appreciate the relationship between Dominica, and that has certainly helped in strengthening and deepening the relationship we now exists between our two countries. Mr. Prime Minister, I want to get your sense on what do you think of President Xi uh, as a leader and uh, as the governor of the country of 1.4 billion people? I think President Xi has been measured, he has been reasoned, uh, he has been matured in his approach to uh, dealing with global tensions. China and through President Xi has been promoting more dialogue, more diplomatic engagements to resolving issues. Uh, the issue of sanctions is, is not something that um, uh, should be promoted. The region never knew a fair share of sanctions uh, throughout history. Uh, if you look at the brother country of Cuba, who had yeah, been the sanction for, for, for what, yeah, 60 for, years? Yeah, which, is which, is, which, which is unfair, is unjust, um, that one country can unilaterally impose uh, sanctions on, 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 on a country like this. And, and this has caused uh, tremendous hardship uh, to the Cuban people. Mr. Prime Minister, you're here to attend the Boal Forum for Asia 2024. The theme of this year is Asia and the World, Common Challenges, Shared Responsibilities. How do you expect this forum to deliver for global growth and perhaps solidarity too? Dialogue is important. It's important for us to examine the issues because it's an evolving world. The issues we confront um, change almost every single day. Um, so it's important for us to have those kinds of dialogue as world leaders, as, as community leaders. Um, as local government um, people and, of course, ordinary citizens. And, and how do we define the global challenges we're co currently confronting? And what can we do together uh, to resolve in those challenges? Because the reality is uh, the issues which affect China affects the Caribbean and Dominica, affects the United States, affects um, the Middle East, affects um, uh, the, the Pacific, the same, same issues, the issue of, of, of uh, inflation, um, caused by global shortages, the issue of, uh, of security. Everybody faces uh, those challenges. The issue of the advent of AI and, and how do we um, you know, recognize the importance of, of artificial intelligence, but also the downsides of it. And of course, for countries like Dominica and the Caribbean, uh, the issue of climate change is a major preoccupation uh, for all of us. It's, it is really an existential threat uh, to the global community. And people thought that climate change was only affecting small islands. Uh, but now, so it's affecting every single country. And, and I think there's a, there's a greater sense of urgency uh, on, on addressing the issue. What we want to see where climate change is concerned is that we can turn those uh, commitments into practical interventions. And I think on China's side, China has not only been talking the talk, but China has been walking the walk as well in terms of providing nations like ours in the, in the Caribbean, in Africa, in the, in, in, um, in, in the Pacific with, with, with some of the resources we need uh, to build that resilience against the impacts of climate change. On the philosophical level, Mr. Prime Minister, China's role in Latin America and the Caribbean region has been much discussed and debated over the years. Um, how would you summarize the Chinese approach versus um, you know, stakeholders in the past? The Chinese approach, I mean, there's a, there's a misconception, especially by the United States uh, and, and, and some European countries who believe that the Chinese engage us on issues relating to America or, or, Europe. or, or Europe. Uh, one week, one week, I, I met President Xi and we never mentioned America once. You know, um, we spoke about Dominica, we spoke about the world, uh, we spoke about climate change, we spoke about peace. And so when, we, when, when China meets with us in, the, in Caribbean and Latin America, it's about uh, economic development. It's about social advancement. It's about how can we assist you in achieving 
uh, economic independence? How can we achieve, assist you in, in achieving your, uh, the, the preservation of your sovereignty? Um, providing uh, both grant, grant aid and also uh, concessionary loans uh, to us uh, with no strings attached. The Chinese don't give us a loan and say to us, you have to do A, B, and C, no. They give us a loan with no conditions. So it, it is really about genuinely helping us in the Caribbean and Latin America in, in uh, maintaining our, 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 our integrity, uh, achieving our, our economic independence, and preserving our sovereignty. There are countries who, who, who will talk and who will make commitments. But if you go to Latin America, if you go to the Caribbean, the largest source of funding for developmental projects come from China at the lowest interest rate. In some cases, zero interest. They know the country provides that um, in terms of the developed world, um, none. And I can say to you, without any fear of contradiction, and this is not an ideological view about the East against the West. It's about stating the facts. Talking about cooperation, there's one more piece of it. That is uh, recently signed the Memorandum of Understanding under your witness and the witness of President Xi between my organization, China Media Group, and a state television of uh, Dominica. Uh, how do you expect that to deliver for both sides in terms of increasing mutual understanding? I believe that it is a, is a huge and insignificant um, MOU, which was signed, and, and we look forward to its um, actualization uh, so that we can have um, your colleagues in Dominica and your counterparts in China um, engaging in, in, in training. I mean, someone like you with, with vast experience, I think our, our um, news people would certainly benefit from, from your many years of professional um, broadcasting. Dominica is a very important country in East uh, Caribbean. It has the second largest hot spring in the world. Um, some people know about the country. Uh, some people may not necessarily know a whole lot about Dominica. How would you introduce your country to our viewers? Well, it's a pristine uh, nature paradise. Um, we have, we, we promote more ecotourism, uh, development that takes place around the environment. And I think someone who is looking to, to escape from the hustle and the bustle of life and the stresses of, of, of life, Dominica is the ideal place to come. It is safe. It is the, the safest island in the Caribbean. Uh, it is peaceful. It is politically stable. It respects the rule of law and, and, and private citizens' rights. And I think um, and the Chinese uh, people would certainly uh, have a wonderful time in Dominica, uh, enjoying nature, immersing themselves in nature, and, and really uh, enjoying what nature has to offer. Uh, very few countries in the world you will, you will still have uh, where nature is at the center of, of its development, and, and Dominica is one such country. Prime Minister Skirit, thank you so much for your time. So thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.在专访中斯凯里特表示